going to wax poetic for a little bit about trash. You know, there's a movement here in New York and probably elsewhere called the Freegan Movement. You know, a vegan or a vegan is a... I believe that's a person who doesn't eat meat and has other dietary restrictions. Well, a Freegan uh, eats and lives on free stuff. So here we have, out on the street, waiting for pickup, we have, you know, one man's junk is another man's treasures. So I have passed in my morning jog chairs, tables, equipment. You can see that there's trash collection all around. And there are household items. I've seen two love seats. I've seen uh, a barca lounger or a lazy boy. And I find that incredible. You could, you know, God bless the Freegans, because they're able to, you know, go into dumpsters and go into trash collection areas and reuse and repurpose and recycle. I do draw the line at dumpster diving for food. I know that that's very popular outside of a lot of restaurants and outside of uh, a lot of supermarkets. So that's kind of icky, given our rat problem here in Manhattan. But, you know, that looks like a perfectly good chair that could be cleaned up. So welcome to the city, where you have many opportunities to find things on the streets, many surprises. Here we are in Overpass. And I'm going to just zero in on another trash pile and see if we can find any goodies. Oh, I don't see any there. But you know what? Keep your eye open. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. See? Everybody's got the trash out today. could be your lucky day. You might find a wonderful bit of treasure on the streets of Manhattan.